The role of pilot in air combat has changed radically from Jenny to Jet. Today, the pilot has become a manager who directs an extremely complicated weapon system. In supersonic and space flight, where decisive action based on up to the second situation data is a must. Information in a form which relieves the pilot of detailed and unnecessary mental assimilation must be presented. This film outlines the use of the horizontal situation display to solve that problem. From the time man attained his goal of powered flight, the problem of where am I going, how am I going, when will I get there, has been refined into the science of navigation. The first slow-moving aircraft were relatively easy to operate. As aircraft performance evolved into present-day high performance, jet and rocket speeds, man was still faced with the same problem. The pilot must still know where he is in relation to the ground below. In modern aircraft, all the pilot need do is view his navigational situation display, which shows him in pictorial form his exact location in relation to the ground. Studies and projects were started by Avion Division, ACF Industries, in partnership with Wright Air Development Center. At the Paramus plant of the Avion Division of ACF Industries, engineers have been working since 1953 on requirements set up by the Flight Control Laboratory of the Wright Air Development Center. Studies of simplified cockpit design to help the pilot meet his new weapon responsibilities have been carried out by the Air Force as well as the Navy. These studies indicate a common requirement for a pictorial situation display system. The Avion HSD system consists of four units, indicator and control box, plotter unit, and electronic unit. The indicator and control box are located in the cockpit. The plotter unit and electronic unit are located away from the cockpit and connected to the indicator and controls by a closed loop television system. All the map information is stored on this three and a half inch glass slide with little or no degradation of resolution. This fact is even more amazing when it is realized that the map on the slide represents an area greater than that of the continental United States. The presentation on the indicator is a one-to-one -one reproduction of the original chart in the normal mode of operation. With HSD, the pilot eliminates the difficult task of unfolding large aeronautical charts. While in operation, the plotter automatically displays present position desired from signals supplied by a navigation computer. Manual slew controls are provided to effect corrections or shift presentation. The map is mounted in a mechanism which is movable in the X, Y coordinates. Here the carriage is slewing in the X direction. Now the Y direction. Behind the map, the rotating reticle may be seen. The equipment is capable of two modes of operation, presenting either the inside out or the outside in frame of reference. In map track mode, the aircraft is maintained stationary in the advantageous section of the display. In the marker track mode, the aircraft moves over the stationary map as seen in this animated sequence. As the marker reaches the outer edge of the display, the mode is automatically shifted to map track. Two display orientations are also provided, north up and marker up. In the north up orientation, geographical north is always up. Zero on the outer dial is at the top of the indicator. In marker up orientation, the marker is positioned to always track upward on the display. The heart of the television relay system was the subject of exacting engineering design. Here we see the television Viticon camera unit. 
It contains a one-inch Viticon tube with a resolution capability of 600 lines. It also contains the first three stages of video amplification. A few simple adjustments make HSD ready for operation. First, the map slide is inserted in the plotter unit carriage. Secondly, latitude and longitude at point of takeoff are set into the plotter unit and the horizontal situation display is ready for takeoff. On route navigation, HSD is in map track mode. The following animated scenes illustrate the full capability of the HSD system. The attack phase of the mission can be readily presented on the HSD as shown in this animated sequence. Here we see the ground attack. For the return flight, the display is again in market track mode on the 40 mile scale to complete the mission. With an eye to the future, Avion engineers are searching for new and better applications for HSD, which will keep pace with the bold new advances in space navigation, such as sector-scanned radar, various symbols and data, velocity vectors, command course, terrain clearance, Instruction mode. Symbols superimposed with map. Intermediate and terminal mode as well as master mode can be shown. In landing aids. And night flying aids.